so uh, in the morning I was just emptying dishwasher, uh, cleaned out all the cat poop, and now I am going out because it's a really, really sunny day today, and there's no wind, surprisingly. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is my uh, 19th day in the Faroe Island. So I am going to walk to that little village, uh, which I rode a bike to two days ago, because the bike is broken, possibly by me. So I have to walk there this time. <laughs> Not long, maybe just have an hour walk. Anyways, in the morning, I was sort of talking about in Chinese that I am living in the perfect life that I love now. <laughs> like wake up in this beautiful place at whenever I'd like to, <laughs> no alarm and anything, and then do chores, house chores, cook and go out whenever I like. It's so perfect isn't it? The only problem is that I am not making any money, <laughs> that's all. But it's kind of perfect, so lovely. Oh, look at these waterfalls. <laughs> so now I am making double language of this video. I've already made a Chinese one, so I'm just gonna translate everything I've said before. Um, so what I said is that why do, I need, why do I need to make money? I have to make money. But why? Is that if I have money, then I can live the life I want. I'm sort of living the life I want now. Why do I need to make more money? But still, I need to make money. Because all these cameras and stuff don't come in free. And so, yeah, I need to <laughs> they break. I break them all the time, my drones and stuff, so I need to make money to buy new. But why do I need money for buying cameras? It's because I want to make YouTube videos. Why do I want to make YouTube video? Is I wish someday I can make money from it. Then why do I need money from making YouTube videos to buy new cameras? So I can make YouTube videos and then I can make money to buy cameras to make YouTube videos. <laughs> wow, but really living in this place, what more can you ask for? I mean, even if I don't make any money from YouTube videos, I'd like to show you guys. I'd like to show you there's such place on this planet. I'm grateful that I can be here, really. Uh, because this side has sunlight, so I'm just gonna walk backwards. I can see myself, so if there's a car coming or something, I can see it. <laughs> it's very safe. <laughs> Look at these animals. There are sheep all around, and their living space is huge. It's like a whole mountain. There are only two, four or six of them, their life is much better than most of us. Imagine we are sitting in front of the laptop in a cubicle, like one square meter. Their life is much better than ours, most of ours. I mean, so you don't have to feel too sorry about us killing them a few days ago. <laughs> Look at this environment where they are living in. So today is just gonna be like a random talk video. I do that a lot. Uh, but the thing is, since I am traveling now, I didn't study English that often as I should. So my English had gotten quite bad. <laughs> the thing is for non-native speakers, if they don't study, at least for me, if I don't study for like a um, few days, then I forget about this language. It's a learned language. It's not my native tongue or something. It doesn't come naturally. 
So I need to be constantly studying, otherwise I can't speak. You can already hear it that I am not speaking uh, as eloquently. Oh, okay. I was never eloquent <laughs> as fluently, as properly as my videos in the beginning. So yeah, I really need to get back to my study soon. I came up here to take some picture of the horses, but they're not exactly cooperating. So whenever I want to take a picture of them, they face me without us. Yeah, that's what they do. And now they are kind of normal. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. I don't disturb you to enjoy your tasty grass. So when you're walking in the wild in Faroe Islands, you have to be extra careful. So whenever you see grasses like this, they're so tall and there could be some creeks underneath it. So if you don't pay extra, extra attention, then you might just be falling into the creeks. For example, like this one is kind of wide. It's kind of visible, but a lot of them are actually hidden beneath the grass. I really like making videos, even if it's without financial gain. I was making it, I was making it all in my WeChat and stuff, just for friends and for myself. But the thing is, usually the thing you like to do is not going to make you any money. Instead, it's going to cost you money. <laughs> you have to be very lucky. If your hobby, if your passion also pays you, it's like, it's a really rare case. Oh, look at this place. So as much I am enjoying my days here, I am still living in this society, caged by all the standards and stuff. I was chased by some small dogs two days later. No, a girl in here. And now I see this huge mastiff or mastiff or whatever. Well, if that one chases me, there's no way to run. I hope he doesn't. I think the Faroe Island is very perfect for those who are antisocial or apathetic to social lives. Because in here, like, if you want to communicate with people, if you want to make friends, it's very easy. But if you don't want to, there's no one around. <laughs> like, you wouldn't be bothered all the time, like in the big cities. Oh, this is so perfect for me. I want to stay here a long time. I don't mind about city life and this and that. <laughs> if you want to, then everyone's so friendly with you. They smile at you. They say hello, passing by. But um, most of the time, you're just all by yourself, like this. Oh, I found the perfect place for having a picnic. So, I hope this time we'll be more successful. <laughs> just have to be very careful because you might accidentally step into something. This is a perfect spot for a picnic. It even has a table uh, because I am taking a different approach this time. Water will be employed. So I am having something different this time. Instead of the little cheese fondue pot I used last time, I am using some Chinese magic this down. This is my Chinese magic. I hope it works. <laughs> I am very precautionary. So in case nothing works, I still have my cold cheese. I am very prepared given that I have that unsuccessful experience last time. <laughs> so I always end up with having something to eat. So, uh, how does this work? Inside is some 
leftover fried rice I made like a million years ago <laughs> okay just two days ago and some ducks roast duck from yesterday how does this work is that uh, this is the food and the magic is inside so uh, I'm gonna warm it up I'm gonna heat it with this I think it's um I don't know it's in Chinese and I don't know the English of this thing. So here is my food. And this is the thing. And I'm going to put this into here. And then get some water. And the chemical reaction uh, between water and this thing is going to create heat. And then I place the food onto the top of this thing. And then it's gonna cook it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let me just get some water from this waterfall. Okay, now it should be creating the heat. <laughs> well, uh, it's floating on the water now. I hope it works. Nothing happens now. Why nothing works? I mean, <laughs> it worked so well before. Please work. <sighs> Maybe something is not right with this package because I bought it I bought it years ago. Maybe it's expired or something. It's not working. I am going to give it a second shot. I have another package of it. Let's try. Please work! <sighs> Usually how it works is that if you just soak this package into the water, then, then it heats up everything pretty quickly. And it was, it, it was like working so well, it's so hot that it even cooks raw rice. But now nothing is working. Damn. It looks like it's not working. Ending up having my cold cheese again. <laughs> I'm not even. Oh. At least I have my cheese. So yummy. And you know what the annoying thing is? I am wearing the same shit every day because I didn't have enough uh, enough space in my suitcase. <laughs> All the spaces in my suitcase are dedicated to this and the cheese fondue pot. And they turned out to be useless. Complete, completely useless. Completely useless. Oh my god, oh my god, I found out something is smoking. Oh my god, it's working! It turns out I just have to be a little bit more patient. Then it works. I think this one inside is also working. Let me just quickly place it back. So, it's cooking!
but like two of them is too packed. So I'm just gonna use one and then cover it. Yeah, it's cooking it. I can feel it's so hot and it's like, you can hear the sound of it. It's cooking it well. Listen. Can you hear it? I'm gonna have hot, piping hot fried rice and baked duck in this beautiful place. Alone but not lonely. Alone but not lonely. Alone but not lonely. Alone. It's cooking. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> so, uh, I want to show you the water is being cooked under it. And this is how it looks like. Okay, let's see the result. It's actually not that hot. Usually, it's cooking so well, it's smoky and stuff. So now it's just lukewarm. It's good enough. I'm happy about it. Oh, I want to show you my little toolbox. Not toolbox, eating toolbox. So, it's a little box with a um, lot of things inside. A spoon and chopsticks. Chopsticks and a little knife so very useful it's only 10 yuan uh, in Taobao I bought it many years ago now it's maybe a little bit more expensive but still quite cheap so uh, this is my food my food who says everything made in China is shit it works better than the European made cheese fondue pot <laughs> Good, a little bit warm, not very hot, so still far from what I have expected. Mm. But good enough, really good. Mm. It's kind of ugly, but it's actually very tasty. And it's warm! Mm. So good. Well, actually it's becoming very hot now. So even if you put the raw meat inside, it's gonna cook it. It turns out you just have to wait. I wasn't patient enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, I blamed you useless. You are super useful. However, the cheese fondue pot was not. I waited it for almost the whole morning. Didn't work. But this works so perfectly. It's so hot now. It's more than just lukewarm. It's so hot. Making some time lapse footages here. Feeling a little bit cold. 
I'm waiting for my time lapse to be made. So I better keep myself warm. Well, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> did I do? This is yet another video full of random talks. Really random. You may be thinking, what is this? It is what it is. <laughs> Just enjoy the view. I'm not sure if it's looking at me because he has fringes. It's covering its eyes. <laughs> so cute! I think this is the Faroese horse. He's so shy, he walked away. Anyways, back to the topic. So even if I'm not making any money from my YouTube channel it's kind of good to keep it as a hobby however it's actually taking a lot of time and energy you know editing them and making them if it doesn't make any money for forever then it shows that my content and my shit doesn't have any value to the society or to the world it's useless it's garbage so i think maybe i shouldn't be making more of them to put my data garbage into this already very crowded world of <laughs> internet <laughs> so if my content had given you a little bit happiness a little bit of anything a little bit value please like and subscribe and watch the ads maybe i'm gonna make like a one dollar or two with each video someday <laughs> i think if one day i made it i can monetize i can really make some money from my youtube channel then it it could be very inspiring as well both for me and for for you guys like a normal person, untalented person, absolutely mediocre person, can make money from her hobby. It's actually very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> this sheep, she was far away and she saw me coming and then she just comes to here, wants to say hello to me, something like that. She's so curious about me. Hello. Xiao Mian Yang. Ni hao ma. I'm in the supermarket now. I'm going to buy something. Let's see how expensive is everything. So, this pistachio 80 gram. It's 25 krona. Let's see. I have to copy it. So, uh, so it's 1,400 Hungarian for it. I'm not sure how's the price in Hungary. Let's have a look at their dairy. So, uh, one liter of milk is 19, it's 20 kana. Yogurt is 27.
X 36, 4, 12 X. This is sour cream. 16 for 200 grams. This much bread is 26. Oh, they have cheap avocado. Two for only 17. I think this supermarket actually has good price. I found out things are cheaper in here. Spring onion, 10 corner, and this is on discount, is 12. 250 grams of mushroom, 20. One cucumber, 15. Hi. Hi. Don't be surprised to see kids working in supermarkets in the Faroes. It is very common in here. The legal working age here is 13. The hourly salary for kids is about 90 Danish kron, of which 40% are deductible income taxes. Here, everyone is encouraged to start working when they can. It is said to work hard and be strong is an important part of the Faroese culture. Spend 96 kron, 96 that's about uh, 5,400 foreign. For nothing, not really anything. I bought uh, one liter of yogurt, two packs of blueberries, altogether maybe just 250 grams, and some chocolates. That's all. Just small chocolates like this. I found out since I'm here. I couldn't help but eating a lot of sweet stuff. People here, they have the best quality food. Best salmon, best lamb, best beef, but they keep eating chocolates and ice cream and stuff. And candies. I don't think I've seen these much of candy selection so ubiquitously available in other countries. Like, you can find them not only in supermarkets, but in gas stations, cinemas, convenience stores, you name it. And I found out me myself too. Since I'm here, I just couldn't resist but eating a lot of chocolate. Like, normally I won't be so intentionally buying chocolate and eating them, but I just couldn't resist since I'm here. I don't know if it has to do with the climate or what. Since I'm here, I'm having chocolate almost, almost every day. This is not normal.